Hi, this is Helal. In this video on mathematical economics series, we will solve a numerical on the applications of Jacobian determinant in testing the functional de dependence between the system of equations. The question is, test the functional dependence using Jacobian. We are given a system of equations and we have to see whether they are functionally dependent on each other or not. The equations are y1 is equal to 4x1 minus x2 and y2 is equal to 16x1 square plus 8x1 x2 plus x2 square. So we have to see whether they are functionally dependent on upon each other or not. So for that we will use the Jacobian determinant. Now as we have seen in earlier videos the Jacobian determinant is composed of all the first order partial derivatives of these system of equations arrange it in a definite order that is Jacobian file right here first uh, the Jacobian determinant is composed of all the first order partial derivatives of the system of equations arranged in a uh, specific order that is we write first of all uh, del uh, sorry del y1 divided by del x1 and del y1 divided by del x2 similarly here we have del uh, y2 y2 divided by del x1 and del y2 divided by del x2 so this is the jacobian determinant which is composed of the partial derivatives of these system of equations written with this in this order, first we write the partial derivatives of this first equation along the row uh, against the in independent variables x1 and x2. Similarly, for the second, we write the partial derivatives of this second equation along this row. We form a Jacobian determinant. Now, if the uh, Jacobian determinant is equal to zero, we say that the functions are or the these uh, system of equations are functionally dependent if the determinant is not equal to zero we say that uh, these uh, system of equations are not functionally dependent so we will see now here yeah, we can see del y1 divided by del x1 means partially differentiating this equation with respect to x1 now here it is x1, 4, x1 minus x2, the uh, derivative of x2 here is 0 because we are differentiating with respect to x1. Now the derivative of 4x1 is 4, so I will write in this place I will write 4, similarly uh, del y1 divided by del x2. So we have to differentiate this very equation with respect to x2, since here no x2 is involved, so here the derivative is 0, here uh, the derivative of minus x2 is minus 1 so I will write so minus 1 so this is the first row now second is del y2 divided by del x2 minus differentiating second uh, uh, second equation with respect to x1 here it is x1 16 x1 it is uh, derivative will be, this 2 will become the quotient so this will be 2 into 16 that is 30 uh, 2 x1 here uh, plus the derivative of x1 is 1, so this will become 8x2, so I will write here 8x2, so I will write this here, this minus 1. Similarly, no x1 is involved, so the derivative is 0. Similarly, del y2 divided by del x2 will differentiate this equation with respect to x2. Here we can see, uh, here the derivative of x2 is uh, 1. So this will become 8x1, 8x1 plus here uh, the derivative of x2 will, this 2 will become the quotient, so this will become 2x2. So this is our Jacobian determinant. Now solving this, so I will solve this here. Now this is J, Jacobian determinant is, we multiply these two elements, that is, this will become 4 8 x1 plus 2 x2 and from that we subtract the product of these two elements that is we write minus uh, so i will write 
since here it is minus so I will write uh, this is here 32 x so I will write here so I will write here first minus 1 and 32 x1 plus x2 so I will write here so I should write this here this is minus from the formula and we have minus 1 multiplying with this this 32 x1 plus x2 so this is 32 x1 plus 8 x2 plus 8 x2 now solving this this will become 8 4 is our 32 x1 this comes out to be 32 x1 4 2 are 8 plus 8 x2 now we are minus and minus is plus so this will remain 32 x1 plus 8 x2 now 32x1 32x1 so this is 64x1 now 8x2 and 8x2 is 16x2 so 16x2 so this will not be equal to 0 because these are the positive terms since our Jacobian is greater than 0 or it, it is not equal to 0 we say that these system of equations are functionally independent we say there there is functional functional independence independence uh, between the uh, equations So this was all about the Jacobian determinant and how it is used to uh, see whether the two equations are functionally dependent or not. So I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you.